are the lighting of the town Christmas tree. Can you think of anything more American? An American flag? Or, or an American flag with Christmas trees for stars. Ooh, that would make a good cake. Note to self, I like cake. Well, isn't that cute? Roger's making a snow angel. A face-down snow angel. In a pile of angel vomit. He's passed out, Mom. He's been binge drinking since Thanksgiving. Get up, Roger. What the hell's wrong with you? Another year on this planet, I had a, and I haven't accomplished squat. Can't even drink myself to death. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You've only been here four years. Try 60. You've been here 60 years? Yeah, I crashed in Roswell in 47. Thanks for finally asking. Six decades of dragging my ass around this blue marble, and what do I have to show for it? Nothing. Laugh it up, Ma. You were right. I'm a loser. Don't judge me, fatty. Damn it, Roger, get a hold of yourself. You're not going to spoil my Christmas. Can I have everyone's attention? I've just been handed this injunction, which means we have to cancel this function. You're rhyming again. I know, I hear it, I'm trying not to. It says here that the square is public land and therefore isn't an appropriate place for religious icons. Oh. What? We're going to let the secularist non-believers dictate how we celebrate Jesus' birthday? Actually, I kind of see their point. I mean, if you're not Christian, all this Christmas stuff might make you feel a little uncomfortable. Oh, I cannot wait for the rapture! You're gonna be left behind! You're gonna be left behind! You're gonna be left behind! You're gonna be left... Stan! Uh, Post-rapture? Feel free to use our pool! You know, if, if it isn't boiling. Francine, I am going to completely lose my Christmas cheer if I don't get someplace where they understand this holiday pronto. We can stop by church. I don't need to be bored, Francine. I need to be reminded of what Christmas is all about. To the shopping mall! Ah, this is more like it. Two teenagers sitting on an old man's lap as a midget snaps a picture. If that doesn't commemorate our savior's birth, I don't know what does. This year, Santa smelled like whiskey and the midget smelled like pot. I know! When did they change it up? Stan, did you remember to get a gift for Roger? Roger? He's not a Christian. You think he cares that 2,000 years ago our Lord and Savior was born in a mangler? Uh, I think you mean manger. No, no, honey, you're thinking of manager. Just get him something, Dad. He's so depressed. Fine. One of your items, please. How about this cassette? Is it 99 cents? It's a dollar seven with tax. You ever think about changing the sign? It's not really up to me. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I, uh, said Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Just say Merry Christmas. Management doesn't want us saying that. Just say it! <laughs> uh, I had a gun. Happy holidays! <laughs> I used to love Christmas, but now the liberals have decided that Christmas is offensive. Someone's feelings could get hurt. You know who's to blame for this? Well, do you? Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. Today's liberals are yesterday's hippies. And those hippies would have worn themselves out dancing in the mud, but no. She had to revitalize their dying movement by going to North Vietnam and humanizing the enemy. I'm Hanoi Jane. Don't kill communists. Look at my boobies. That was the beginning of the end. Oh, here we go, Stan. Christmas carolers. Welcome, ye gentle carolers. Oh, we're not here to sing. We're just here to warn people about the holiday rapist. You mean the Christmas rapist? The guy who strikes every year on Christmas? Yeah, they've asked us to call him the holiday rapist. No, he's the Christmas rapist. He rapes on Christmas. Is nothing sacred. Christmas is dead. What are you doing? If I can't say it, I'm not going to celebrate it. Daddy's breaking all the presents Chinese kids made for me. Stan Smith, is this your idea of a good Christmas? Destroying your children's presents and terrifying Roger? Is it over? If anyone's ruined Christmas, it's you. And you can think about that while you're sleeping on the couch. On the couch? But the window is broken, and the Christmas rapist is on the loose. Holiday rapist. Uh... <laughs> Arise and awaken, Stan Smith. Holiday rapist! I mean Christmas rapist! I am the ghost of Christmas past. Why? Why are you here? Because you've forgotten the true meaning of Christmas. Take my sleeve, Stan. This is where I grew up. Yes, Stan. And that happy little boy is you. It is Christmas morn, 1970. President Nixon is in the White House. 
The Partridge family toppeth the charts with I Think I Love You. And Jane Fonda is filming her Oscar-winning role in Clute. Ah, oh, look at you, basking in the love of your family. You knew what Christmas was about back then, didn't you, Stan? Stan? What? Hey, no, no, no! Dude, where are you going? You can't run away! Great! My first gig is Christmas pass, and I tank it. Couldn't be happy with just being the tooth fairy. No, no, it's too steady. Live risky, reach for the stars. Well, that's not stardust on your hands, Michelle. It's failure, and it don't wash off. Should have just married Chad. There's only one way to save Christmas. Kill Jane Fonda. Gotcha. Hey, suit guy, totally nude nudes. No time, friend. I've got to kill Jane Fonda before she goes to Vietnam and ruins Christmas. All right, Ms. Fonda, action! Gross. Cut! Beautiful, Jane. That fork thing, genius. Thanks. I figured, hey, share the experience. Remove any notion of ownership. I mean, who's really the pet here, right? Oh, you are so dead. <coughs> what the hell? You have to help me. I'm the ghost of Christmas past, and I took your husband back to 1970, and he bolted on me. You lost my husband in the past? Look, if a mom takes a kid to the mall and loses the kid, do you blame the mom? No. No, you don't. No. Anyway, can you help me find him? I don't understand. Why would Stan run away? Beats me. One minute, I'm talking about President Nixon and Jane Fonda. The next minute, he's gone. Oh. I think I know where he went. Be right with you. Um, we're kind of in a hurry. I'm not going back to that filthy decade without some Purell. Come on, Don. I'm just an actress. Jane, you have the power to be so much more than that. Donald Sutherland? You're destined to be a great woman. You know, you should get involved in politics. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Let's talk about this later. Over drinks? Maybe at my place? I got it all wrong. Sutherland pushed her into politics. He's the one I have to kill. Who? What did you say? Um... Are you here to give Jane her massage? Yes. Yes, that seems pretty fun. All right, Miss Fonda, lie down. You can finish that cat food later. <gasps> you on the list? Uh, yeah, Jack Nickel... Oh, I always mix them up. Not not the golfer, the, the guy in About Schmidt. You know, he was the one in the hot tub with the big lady from Dolores Claiborne. Kathy Bates. I am Kathy Bates. Back of the line. Uh. Ooh, cold, cold, but flattering. So, did you get that part on Ryan's Hope? No, they really like me, but they're going with someone a little more flesh-colored with a nose. Give it up, loser. I'm not a loser! <sighs> Disco's greatest hits, best songs from 1974 to 1980. This tape is from the future, but that's impossible. On the other hand, I'm a spaceman working in a lane, so maybe I should open my mind a bit. Have you seen Donald Sutherland? <laughs> you might want to check between Faye Dunaway's legs. <laughs> Hold it now. That smells like a marijuana cigarette. It makes me high like one, too. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> What's your name, funny guy? Marty. Marty Scorsese. Martin Scorsese? Wow. Oh, you're amazing. I love your work. <gasps> you saw my six-minute film about a guy shaving? <laughs> Let's just say the world has yet to recognize your genius. But you're never gonna win an Oscar hopped up on the dope. You know what, man? You're right. I'm proud of you. Come on, bring it in. <laughs> Your eyebrows tickle. <laughs>